Hey, Phil Brown here with Fusion 360. I'm going to go over the new tool library real quick in this quick tip. So the first thing I'm going to announce to you guys and show you that in the event that you don't want to switch to the new tool library immediately, you could just go up to your preferences and go ahead and scroll down to the section where you see preview feature. And then we're going to go all the way down where you're going to see tool library. Go ahead and uncheck this for a temporary fix to get you back up and going. But you're going to want to go ahead and learn the new tool library because that's the way Fusion 360 is going. And now I'm going to show you why it is that we're going that way. So for example here is if I go into my tool libraries, it's going to look a little cleaner and a little more streamlined. I could still go to my different machines and do things. But for example here, even though this is a half inch cutter tool one, I have both a roughing and a fishing, finishing strategy broke out into two tools. The new tool library is actually going to allow you to define that tool and go ahead and apply both or different materials all to the same tool. So for example, let's go ahead and say half inch end mill. We're going to go ahead and give this a one inch length of cut. And then from here, I can go ahead and label that as my half inch end mill. And when you get over to cutting data, this is where you're going to take advantage of a few different things. So first, I'm going to rename this one. And let's just say this is now aluminum roughing. And with that, I want to go ahead and give this 12,000 RPMs, probably about a chip load of 6,000. And I can go ahead and save that. I can now make a new one. And now you're going to see aluminum roughing one. We're going to rename that to aluminum finishing. And with that being said, I can now go in and change that chip load. The last one I could do, if it was really up to me, I could add in now, you know, maybe a steel finishing or whatever you feel necessary, stainless steel finishing. And now that I have that, I could go ahead and adjust those speeds and feeds even more. So let's say we want to get down to around 150 surface feet per minute. And maybe, you know, again, let's go back down to like a 3,000 chip load. So with that being said, I now have several different speeds and feeds tied directly back to that individual cutter to be utilized. So when I go back into my part and start to program this, remember this is tool number two now, is the strategy is still the same. 2D contour, I go into my tool library, I go to my machine or however you organize your tools, I'm going to pull tool two. And now notice, I have the ability to define aluminum finishing, aluminum roughing, or stainless steel finishing. In this case, I want aluminum finish because it is a 2D contour. Let's pull a couple lines here and I could adjust this more. But now you guys can see that the system is still the same. We just improved a few different features inside of Fusion 360. Um, at this point, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more and more quick tips just like this.